Uh, eight assists on your first eight half-court baskets. Um, coach said that uh, them playing zone kind of increased the ball movement, uh, just happenstance. But were you guys making a conscious effort to find each other and, and, uh, and move the ball? Uh, yeah, we just want to be a great team. That's what great teams do, and um, it's more fun that way, just sharing the ball, talking on defense. <clears throat> I mean, you had another career high tonight and, and only played half the game. What, 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 what uh, is kind of going into the way you're playing right now? You also had a plus 40 and the plus minus, no turnovers tonight. Uh, what do you think is going into kind of your continued development here early in your career? Um, I just try to play the same way every single, every single game. You know, whether I play a lot, start, sit the bench, whatever. It's the same mentality every single game, so. That's what I do. And Jaime, uh, you had those two steals that led to dunks in the first half. What, what did that do for you, uh, kind of momentum-wise for the team? Do you think it kind of gave you guys an extra boost at all? Yeah, I think it gave us a little bit of a boost, you know, knowing that we can get up in passing lanes and run the floor and get out and get dunks and layups. And so, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Jaime, these guys have been through it already, but going to Maui and playing those three games in, in such a quick fashion, how much does that help your comfort level and how much did you notice it out there tonight? Uh, it helps my comfort level a lot, you know, being able to play on such a big stage against really, you know, high level teams. And, you know, it made me feel a lot more comfortable. And obviously, these guys are helping me through it all. So, you know, it's a process. So just getting better every single day. Jalen, uh, you had uh, four assists today. Coach was talking about earlier about how you're getting more comfortable sort of holding the ball and playing out of the post. How do you think your game has grown so far this season? Um, just by slowing down, seeing the game, the game slowing down as I, you know, had more experience playing. But just finding open, open guys and making the right decisions. Hey, Chris, uh, Coach Cronin says you guys are still kind of a work in progress when it comes to defense. How far away do you think this team is to playing the kind of defense he wants he wants to play, and what do you need to do? I think we're really far. We're not even playing the defense that he's known for at the moment. Um, I don't know. It, the biggest thing is talking on defense, and we don't do much of that at the moment. We just got to get in the groove, get more comfortable, and we got to talk more, and then I think we'll start progressing towards what he wants. Yeah, do you think you know the team knows what – to do, you're just kind of not clicking yet? What do you think it is? I think it's just a work in progress, like everything else. Um, this team's fairly new. Uh, we've got younger guys. I just think it's a work in progress, you know? Everyone's got to, I guess, get in the groove on defense. And like I said, talking's a big thing. We got to do a lot more of that. You see it getting better? Have you seen progress? Yeah, I definitely see it getting better. For, for Chris and Jalen, what, what's it been like to see Jaime emerge here these last handful of games? And what has he it's great. It's great. I love it. I what, love what, it. what has he brought to you guys? Uh, energy, effort, uh, just the easy things, the things that he can, he can do. We're not asking him to do anything more than that. And as you can see, it helps. It's just a, it's a great sight because he's a freshman. And, you know, uh, as when I was a freshman, I wasn't doing stuff like that. And it's just cool to see. So, yeah. Uh, I, I just been talking to him from day one, tell him to calm down, and just I tell him it took me a while to calm down, so uh, <laughs> don't feel like you know it's weird or anything. So I mean today he was he was calm, he was seeing open spots, cutting to the rim. Uh, he brought the same energy he brings every single game, and 18 points came out of that, four assists, a lot of rebounds as well. And this is just for any of you guys. Uh, we didn't ask Coach, but how many deflections do you guys have today? 29. Or what do you guys uh, think you could do better? Because, I mean, you're not getting to 40, but what do you think uh, kind of held you back from getting to, to the benchmark tonight? Uh, they were uh, – they went away from the plays that they were doing in the first half. They just started doing that little ISO thing or whatnot. It's really hard to get deflections when someone is just ice on you. Um, but, I mean, we came out with a surge in the first half, and we set the tone, I think. 
Uh, so we made them, you know, go away from what they really wanted to do. So we didn't get 40 deflections, but we set the tone on defense, I think. Hey, Jalen, uh, you think your offense might function a little better against a zone or against a man? You guys look like you're kind of in a groove out there tonight. Well, the way that they were playing, it, the, the middle was very open, but, you know, I'm not focused on offense or whatever. This is effort, energy, what I can bring on um, to the court for the team, for the win. You know, I don't care about the offense. Uh, Jalen, you were matched up with number 14 down low a lot. He's obviously a really big guy. What, what was that like on both ends of the floor, kind of slowing him down on offense and just trying to get around him when you're on offense? Uh, it, was, it was hard. Uh, but, you know, Cody in practice, he, he's really aggressive and he's really, uh, really good down the post. So that kind of helped me out a lot. You know, the way he plays, we just beat each other up every practice. So. It, it, was a, it was a challenge, but, you know, I was ready for it. Seems like win or lose, coach always comes in and, and pinpoints things that you guys need to work on and improve on. Do you guys like that, that you're, you're always building towards something and, and never really, like, accepting where you are? You, you can't get better if you get comfortable. So um, every time you do anything, you got to look for ways that you can improve, not for things you did well. And if you're getting better, if you're not getting better, then you're getting worse. So. Like that one. I had that one in my pocket. <laughs>